breaking news. There is a massive bushfire in the middle of a, of a peaceful land. This is the map. Let's, let's see the story. Um, here I am in the village, right next to the fire. And even the rain is not putting the blazing fire out. Here I will be interviewing two, a couple of the survivors. To, their names are Tom and Hamish. Would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Henry. I am here with the two survivors, Tom and Hamish. Tom, can you tell me something about what the fire was like? Sure. It was horrible. My parents died. I ran into Hamish. We ran, both of us ran into a house. It was Hamish's. Now, Hamish, could you tell me some of what it was like for you? So, I saw him when I ran into him. I said, quick, quick, let's come to my house. So we ran in, then we locked the door. And then we stayed in there for about like one and a half hours. So how long did it take for the fire to go down? Like one and a half hour. We waited it out. Okay, the fire kept on going. But we luckily, Hamish luckily had a water bucket. So we used that to put out. So tell me about what happened. So luckily Hamish had a water bucket. So we put out the whole village, but there was only one house burning, which was my house. And it turned into coal, a tiny bit. So we mined the coal and we got some coal. And well, we st I stayed in Hamish's house for a little while. So, yeah, and I had TNT and some flint and steel so we could mine, blow up stuff and get cobblestone in my house, that's what I did. And he stayed in the top, after, right now he's staying at the top of my house, I have two levels, that's lucky. Well, what a lucky effect for Hamish and Tom. Well, now we're going to go back to the studio and let's see what Henry has to say. Thank you, Louie. Hopefully this massive disaster gets fixed and we'll be back with you in the meantime. Thank you.